So today I'll show you my template for the Artoria Mini Lab 2. How to record, how to stop recording, how to play, pause, how to stop, how to rewind, how to fast forward. And if you'd like to know how to configure your drum pads, I have a previous video linked in the description on how to do that. So by having your own template, you're going to press on it. So you have it selected and you're going to press on the first drum pad. Over here, you're going to switch to pad 9. It is going to be pad 1. You're going to switch to pad 9. This first pad is going to be the play button. So you're going to put MCC, mode MCC, color, whatever you want. And the MCC is going to be play. The second one will also be MCC and the MCC is going to be pause. The third one is going to be stop. The fourth one is going to be fast forward. The fifth one is going to be rewind. I have nothing set up for the sixth one. Seventh one is going to be record strobe, which will allow you to start recording. And the last one will be record exit, which will allow you to start recording. And that is my template for now. I have nothing else configured. I only have my drum pads, which I think are the most important ones, and my uh, features right here, play, stop, pause. And don't forget to press sustain when you want to use those features because one to eight is going to be your drum pads and nine to 16 are going to be your features. Record, stop, stop recording, play, rewind, and everything else. By the way, always check if you are in your own template. That is by after configuring everything, you want to save, and you want to press on memory 2 and press store 2. And so every time you want to access this template, you want to hold shift and press on the second pad.